In healthcare news, the federal government continues to tout its new national dental care program. Our Ottawa correspondent Glenn McGregor joins us now. Glenn, the feds say the number of dentists who are now providing care under the program is growing. It's a challenge that they had early on as they launched this initiative. Yeah, that's right. The government is saying that the numbers of people who have signed up both uh, to get the services in the cupboard, as well as the people who are providing those services, uh, oral health professionals, dentists, doctors, uh, denturists, oral hygienists, those numbers have, according to Mark Holland, the health minister, exploded. So when the program launched, you're right, it was off to kind of a slow start. A lot of confusion about who would be covered, whether or not dent dentists would actually sign in to provide services under this uh, program. Uh, health, health minister today saying that now 2.3 million Canadians have signed up for it and 450,000 people have been treated and had their services either uh, fully or partially paid for by this new federal plan. The number of uh, uh, doctors and dentists who are actually providing those services also increasing up to 75% of oral health professionals, according to Health Canada, and 70% uh, of all den dentists in Canada are also signed on too. So it's good signs. The program is still kind of being phased in though. Remember, it only applies right now to people who are under 18 uh, and also senior citizens and people who collect a federal disability if they don't have coverage through another insurance program, like through their employer-based health plan, and if they have a household income of $90,000 or, or less. But still, Mark Holland says this is a real success. Here's what he had to say when he had a press conference today in Ottawa. This is the largest federal program ever launched. In three months, 450,000 people have got care. To put that in stark terms, that's 450,000 people who did not have access to care before. This is people who have teeth in their mouth as a result of this program existing. But the Conservatives are now still highlighting some of the problems with the program. There's still lots of confusion about who's going to be eligible and when, and also about how much of the services are actually covered. Because what you're hearing is people are going in thinking they're going to have all their, de their dental bill covered, but in fact, it only covers part of it. Certain services aren't covered, are considered additional, and that dentists may be charging more on top of the amount that the federal government is paying. Conservatives expecting to make a lot of hay of this, uh, but a real question about whether or not they will, if they form government after the next election, Will they scrap the program altogether? The Liberals, of course, only did this program because the NDP kind of twisted their arm as a condition of keeping the Liberals in power until next year. Uh, but now it looks like they are really embracing it. They're seeing this as a real wedge issue. They want to drive between themselves and the Conservatives heading into the next election campaign, FISA. Okay, Glenn, meanwhile, south of the border here, we have to talk a little bit about uh, the elections there making headlines all around the world, uh, this time because the Prime Minister was mentioned by former <laughs> U.S. President Donald Trump, who is promoting a wild conspiracy theory about Justin Trudeau, and I have an inkling of what you're about to tell us. <laughs> yeah, this theory, the conspiracy theory, it's exactly what it is because there isn't an ounce of truth behind it. We have to say that right at the start. This is completely bogus. It's not true. But it's been circulating online since about 2016 when Fidel Castro, the communist dictator who uh, ran Cuba up until his death, died. And Justin Trudeau put out kind of a nice statement because their families had been close. Uh, and this theory suddenly took hold that somehow... Fidel Castro was Justin Trudeau's father, not Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Uh, of course, it makes no sense, but the uh, origin in this seems to be the fact that uh, Trudeau's mother, Margaret Trudeau, had met uh, Castro when she accompanied her, her then-husband, Pierre Trudeau, on a trip to Havana in 1976. That is almost five years after Justin Trudeau was born, so unless they were time travelers, that uh, couldn't possibly be true. Nevertheless... Donald Trump doing an uh, interview yesterday with a YouTube broadcaster and was shown pictures of other world leaders and asked for his response. Here's what he said when Justin Trudeau's picture came on screen. Uh, he's turned very liberal, actually. They say he's the son of Fidel Castro and uh, could be. I mean, anything's possible in this world, you know? I get along with him very well, actually, but he seems to be going very progressive, and the people of Canada are not liking it. I mean, if they had a good conservative person, which maybe they do, maybe they don't, I don't know. But uh, somebody that's a, a strong conservative would, would win in Canada. Canada is very unhappy about the way they've been.
I get along with him very well, Trump says about Justin Trudeau. I'm not sure that's entirely true either. You know, those four years when Trudeau uh, was dealing with Trump, when Trump was in the White House, were kind of rocky. There were some uh, incidents, some back and forth public sniping. Remember when Trump came to the G7 summit in Charlevoix, Quebec, and left angrily after a confrontation with Trudeau and was tweeting from Air Force One nasty things about the prime minister. So uh, this does not really particularly bode well for what may come should Trump return to the White House after the election in November, the presidential election, uh, and he's going to have to deal with Trudeau for some time on issues like trade and defense and global security. So that could be a sign that things are not going to be uh, as smooth as they were sometimes in the past. Uh, no comment, FISA, today from the prime minister's office on this. They don't want to talk about it. And we just got to say it again. We got to put a stake in this once and for all. It's not true. It doesn't make any sense. No rational person believes it. Yet Donald Trump in his presidential campaign is mentioning it very publicly. Okay, Glenn McGregor in Ottawa with an important message there. Thanks so much, Glenn. Thanks.